Welcome to Open Access and Open Educational Resources by Alicia Lynam Bowen. This presentation is licensed under a Creative Commons license version 4.0. Open Access is a movement to make information, particularly academic research, free and openly available to all. Open Access publications can be downloaded, shared, distributed, and searched at no cost to the user no matter their affiliation with any individual institution. Advocates for open access are particularly opposed to public grant money being used for research that is then published in subscription-based journals. They argue that publicly funded information should not require gatekeeping and that the public should not have to pay again to learn from the research that they paid for to begin with. Open access publication allows information to flow freely to the most people. So you may ask, when traditional prestigious journals are beckoning for your work, why should you publish in an open access journal? You may choose this route because you want your research to have the widest audience possible. Sharing information under an open access license makes it free and therefore more accessible. And don't just think that this is a money issue. By sharing your work openly, you also enable others to translate it to other languages or remix the content in ways that more people can use. And ultimately, this can make your work have the widest impact. The numbers show that openly published articles generate as many or more citations than traditionally published articles held behind paywalls. Open Educational Resources, or OER, are openly licensed materials that are useful for teaching, learning, accessing, or for research. OER can make the classroom more accessible for students by making textbooks and other materials free for students to utilize. Utilizing truly open resources also allows the instructor to reuse, remix, revise and redistribute materials freely and without reprisal from textbook companies. So why should you convert your class to OER? The primary reason that many faculty choose to explore OER is to make their class more economical for students to take. We all know that textbook prices seem to rise each year. A 2015 study of almost 5,000 students across multiple universities and community colleges demonstrated that students in OER classes were less likely to withdraw, were more likely to be enrolled in more classes, and were more likely to receive a passing grade than their peers in the control group, which were enrolled in classes using traditional textbooks. Students in today's economy often have to make difficult choices. Indeed, they may have to choose between buying a textbook for their class or having the money for gas to drive to that class. Finally, choosing OER can allow you to have greater flexibility with the information that you present to your class. We all know that it can be a pain to adopt a new edition of a book, and we often have to wait multiple semesters to make changes. With OER texts, Outdated information can be easily adapted or corrected without the need to go through a traditional publisher. Like a bee depends on a flower to make its food, and the flowering tree depends on the bee to help it reproduce, open access and open educational resources rely on each other in a symbiotic relationship. The ethos behind both concepts are the same. Information should be shared freely and widely. Open access creators need faculty to be willing to distribute their materials, and faculty, who are often open access creators themselves, need more creators to share their findings and work with open licenses to allow them to be used for open educational resources. Sharing truly is caring, and I will be happy to talk with you more about ways that you can share openly and use materials that have already been shared. Thanks for listening.